the amount of self-control I've been practicing to not open up these booster packs is so high. Today, we're opening up 36 Pokemon Prize Pack Series 3. I attend a lot of Pokemon card tournaments every single week. On average, I think I go to three tournaments. And if you guys want to see how those adventures go, I have a whole playlist dedicated to tournament vlogs. I was just at Charlotte Regional, so I just uploaded that vlog the other day. You can get these prize packs by attending these Pokemon events, but you have to actually do well in most cases to win a whole bunch extra. Some cups that you can attend, you get one just for entering. However, you get a lot of these by just winning. So like I got like nine or something like that from winning a cup, Reef for just winning a weekly locals. This is a lot of winning accumulated into one uh, one video. And just, just uh, oh, I'm so excited for this. A lot of you guys know I've been hyping this up on my streams and stuff like that. Also, I feel guilty to open up 36 of these beautiful packs without giving away one as well. So we're giving away one of these series three prize packs. I think this is the last one I have. So if you want to enter the giveaway, subscribe to the channel hit that like button down below and comment down below if you've ever opened up a uh, a pokemon prize pack before and if you have what was your best pull and if not uh maybe comment telling me what your chase card is from these prize packs and a lot of these cards with the stamps can get very very expensive that stamp is like a a badge of honor it's a it's a badge for those hype beast collectors out there who want to go that extra extra step with their collection because these packs they're limited they are limited uh, one of these series three play packs, they average for about like 10 to $12. A series two is like 15 to 20 and a series one is like 20 to 30. Basically in these prize packs, they're just a bunch of reprinted Pokemon cards from a bunch of different sets, but each pack includes two hollow foils. And uh, honestly, the pull rates are really, really hard to get some of the good, good stuff. Two last things to cover before we open up all of these packs. We're also gonna end off the video opening up two of these prize pack series two. So hopefully we can pull some heat like an Umbreon VMAX with a stamp on it. That'd be really cool. And also there's gonna be a lot of cards here that I'm gonna try and put into my decks. Like I love blinging out my decks with the play stamps, but I don't need every card here. So if you guys wanna support the channel and help fund my adventure for the world championships this year, I'm halfway qualified. I will be selling all the extra cards I don't plan to keep on my eBay store. So I'll leave my eBay linked down below. And not only will you be able to buy these uh, prize pack stamped cards you guys see in this video from a proper legitimate seller with some great pricing. Whether you're looking for stuff for your binder, for your decks, some playable cards, some high value collector cards, check out my eBay store. I'll leave a link down below. The first ever or my first ever Pokemon prize pack booster box. The very first pack we're opening up, I actually got as a trade at a local. So you know who you are, the person who traded this to me. This could have been potentially your pack if you ended up keeping it. So here we go. Let's open up a prize pack series three pack and the first of this booster box. Now each of these packs are also about five cards each. So well, we're gonna be going through these pretty quickly. All right, we got Gardena's Vigor, Grant, Regirock, a gutsy pickaxe holo rare, not too bad. And a switch card holo rare, very nice. Now, this is actually a really, really good pull. Um, I'll have the values for a lot of these pop up on screen. I'm gonna spend a lot of time, a lot of time trying to find the values for these cards. So yeah, maybe if you have these in your own collection, you'll be able to find out what these are potentially worth as well. The second pack, man. I can't believe we're actually doing this. I'm so excited to like go through all these and see what the best pulls are. Holy smokes, all right. We got a Featherball, Temple of Sinnoh, Hisuian Arcanine, Hollow Rare Babero, very nice, very, very nice. And a Pot Helmet, probably one of the worst cards you could pull. I think the big, like, major ones I really wanna get, I just really wanna pull, like, any EX. If you can pull EX Pokemon as a, the play stamp, it's a really, really nice thing. Also, Double Turbo Energy Reverse Hollow in play stamp is really nice. It's also about, like, $10 cards. Uh, we got Dragonite. We got Hisuian Basculin. Oh, this is one of the easiest cards to pull. One of the less, the, the least valuable cards from these play packs. I have like six of these now. Oh, that's a big one. The Nest Ball. That is a really beautiful. Oh my God, there's a there's like two swirls. Yo, absolutely beautiful Nest Ball. You'd only hear that on a channel like this. No, no other Poketuber is gonna appreciate a nice Nest Ball like that. You, you feel me? Oh yes. All right. We got a Clefairy. This is actually more fun than, than opening up any booster box. Curlia, Curlia Hollow, very, very nice. Oh man, beautiful. 
and an Ultra Ball, yo, let's go. They also have the new Ultra Ball too. So there's two different artworks for this Ultra Ball that you can pull. I really like this one. It's kind of like a cute doodly one. It's so fun though too, cause like, uh, it, it's very quick. So it's just like, bam, bam, bam. Uh, the Japanese packs are typically like five pack or five cards too, right? So this is kind of reminding me of um, Japanese packs. All right, we got Poke Beer, Poke Gear, Palmot. Babarel, yes, another hollow Babarel. Absolutely beautiful. And an electric energy. Yes. Oh man. I love these electric energies. If you're able to play a full blinged out deck with like these hollow stamped energies. Oh, chef's kiss. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energies. I love these. I love these. Another thing too is all these packs I've earned, right? Like these are, this is like, this is a, this is a huge reward in itself. You know, getting these packs, uh, winning them, but now getting to open up all these is just, it feels so satisfying it feels so rewarding to open up these play packs all right we got pokey gear squovet king gambit yes a fighting energy all right all right i know some people are gonna be like what cringe you're you're happy about energy yes i am these kind of energies you can be very happy about and a damage pump very nice i love my hisui and zorak deck i am gonna be playing it post rotation it's a pretty solid deck i think post rotation so nice damage pump right there that's gonna go straight into the deck and even though like you you can pull a uh, you know, there's the energy at the end of every pack. You do get uh, one of the hollow slots can still be an energy right there. All these, uh, again, all the extra cards I don't want to play, they're going to be for sale on my eBay store. I'll leave a link down below. All right, we got Toolbox, Rare Candy, Manaphy, Cramorant, another really fantastic pull. Look at, the, like, this is a, a, uh, a rare card that's normally a non-hollow. So now you can pull it as an actual hollow, and it has a beautiful Cosmos hollow foil pattern and it's one of the best cards in the game too for for any lost box deck you have to have it in your deck like you're always using cramorant so every lost box deck has to have one to two copies of cramorant so uh yeah very happy about cramorant and don dozo this is the exact opposite everyone's gonna be super hyped about cramorant but this don dozo right here don dozo is one of the easiest cards to pull i wonder how many don dozos we're actually gonna be able to pull in this video all right, here we go. Next pack, I feel like I'm, gab I'm yapping. I'm yapping a lot, but I appreciate you if you're just hanging out with me opening up these play packs. All right, we got Armor Rogue. Ooh, a metal energy, very nice. Look at like, just look at that foil pattern. That foil pattern is so, so nice, love it. And another Switch card, oh my gosh. If we end up getting a full play set of Switch cards, that'd be kind of nasty. That'd be kind of sick, all right. Let's keep it running. Let's keep it going. I hear Misty running in the background, going going to bed in just a second. All right, we got Temple of Sinnoh, Clefairy, Manaphy, a Grodel. Ooh, there is Torterra EX releasing uh, after, I think, this in, in rotation. Once the rotation hits, it's the new set in Temporal Forces. There is a Torterra EX. So I know my friend Robert, I know you're going to be looking forward to that deck. Maybe you'll play it. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be building a Torterra EX deck. That's for sure. But Hollow Grotal, you'll love to see it. And Hisuian Basculin. So again, probably one of the best kind of hollows you can get a super playable uh, Grotal, Grotal, Grotal. And then you got Hisuian Basculin, which honestly, it's not horrible. It, it isn't horrible. It's just one of the easier ones that you can definitely pull an absolute ton of. I know some decks do like to play the Hisuian Basculin, but it's more of those like rogue kind of decks. Not something you see too often. All right, we got Sharon's Care. We got a Switch. Snorlax, Canceling Cologne, very nice. Yes, 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 Double Turbo Energy, fantastic pull. Absolutely, this is like one of the best, well, I think one of the best ones you can get. Next pack, let's see what we can get. We got a Cynthia's Ambition, Toolbox, Hisuian Arcanine, Hisuian Heavy Ball, a fantastic, fantastic pull as well. A lot of decks do tend to have one of these if they do play it. So this is the highest rarity, Hisuian Heavy Ball that ex actually exists in the game. I think it's only about three or $4, so it's not super expensive. And a great Tusk EX, our very first EX stamped play card right here. Great Tusk EX. I'm sure there's some great Tusk collectors out there. And uh, one fun fact I wanna share with you guys is you can pull promo cards that are stamped in these. I actually pulled, uh, I've pulled Lucario EX, which is a promo from the Lucario EX starter deck, which is kind of nuts. Uh, and you can also pull Ampharos EX, 
with a play stamp as well, which I actually got from a trade. I traded uh, a player from Banana Games, uh, Ace. I traded for his and for OCX. So uh, yeah, anyways, there is our Great Tusk EX, our first EX of the video. Hopefully we can pull some better though, because that, that's like a, that's just like a, eh, that's like an eh one, you know? That's nothing to be excited about really, but I am happy we were able to pull an EX. All right, we got Thordin, we got Archeops, and a Mirage Gate. Fantastic pull as well. Look at all the swirls. There's like a bunch of swirls. I see one on the left side, one on the right. Very great card pull. Another Ultra Ball. All right, are we getting the full playset of Ultra Balls? That will make me very happy. Next pack, next pack. That means we do need two more. Ooh, Mirage Gate. V-Guard Energy. Boss's Orders. I pulled a few of these. I sold them for about 10 to $12 each. Ooh, Whale Lord. Okay, okay. And a Gutsy Pickaxe. Honestly, I'm not too upset about the Gutsy Pickaxe. Uh, because I do know that some fighting, tech, fighting, fighting type decks could really pick up uh, in popularity after rotation. So it would be nice to have a full playset of hollow play stamp gutsy pickaxe. All right, we got Serena. We got Switch. I would really love to pull a few of these Switches as hollows. That'd be really nice. Don Dozo. Nest Ball. Perfect. Love to see the Nest Balls right here. Oh, let's go! Origin form Palkia V-Star with the play stamp. That is a huge, huge W. Um, this is one I'm keeping. This is going into my decks. Whether it's gonna go into Golden Go EX with Palkia V-Star or just like a Palkia V-Star box with like other water Pokemon like Blastoise EX. Wow, we pulled our own Origin form Palkia V-Star. Heck yeah, very happy. And uh, I, I'm sure that card has some pretty good value to it. Not gonna even front. It's gonna have some good value to it. All right, here we go. Next pack. I think that I think that Palkia might be the best one we get. That could potentially be our, our climax of this video. All right, we got Trekking Shoes. Love to see it. I love sneakers, as some of you guys know. Beach Court, very nice as well. Perfect for my Maridon gamers out there. I think too, like, because my channel, there's a lot of people who who watch my channel and they get into the card game, not just, they're, you know, they, they evolve from being a collector. Ooh, Sableye. Non-holo uh, Sableye is actually a really, really good pull as well. Curlia, very nice, very, very, very nice. And yes, another lightning or electric energy. Love to see it. But as I was saying, there's a lot of players or a lot of collectors who come to this channel who then just get an interest in playing the card game. And so I think we'll be able to just do fun giveaways of a lot of these play stamped cards because it becomes, a, it has more meaning to it. You know, it has, it's very fun. Pokey Gear 3.0, Squo Vet. This card haunts me. This card haunts me. We got Regilecki. Ultra Ball, yes, 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 yes. This is what I want. I want these play, yes, I want these highly coveted hollow play stamped cards, man. These are money. These are money and they're great to play with. You know, they're, that's why they're money because all these are so playable. That's, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. All right, here we go. We got Arvin. We got Curlia. We got Registeel. Ooh, what's underneath? Another Ultra Ball! Yo! We're, getting, we're definitely getting a full play set of Ultra Balls. We're definitely getting all the balls. And a Hasui and Heavy Ball! I told you we're getting all the balls. Bruh. Hasui and a Heavy Ball, another one. Heck yeah. I know like all these are playable, but like these are like super, super playable stuff. As a hollow, that's like what I want them as, the hollow versions. All right, we got Arizu. We got Regirock. Professor's Research, the Professor Turo artwork version. And the Hisuian Arcanine V. Ooh, had a burp there. This is also another really good card that could see uh, an uptick in play. So this is probably one of those play stamped uh, cards I will be keeping in my my uh, my collection, my decks. I love Arcanine, so very happy that we got a play stamped Arcanine right there. I'll probably do a fun picture too. Yeah, I'll do a picture of all the hits and I'll post it over on like everywhere, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and maybe we do an extra giveaway with that. We'll see. I, I, I don't want to be too generous, you know. I have to run a business. I got to sell some of these too, you know. <laughs> we got Mirage Gate. We got Comfy. Ooh, is there a Hollow Comfy? I, I have never seen a Hollow Comfy. But Comfy though, Don Dozo. Love to see it, right? Am I right? Ooh, another damage pump. All right, my Hosui and Zarak deck is gonna be so blinged out. I absolutely love that deck. All right, here we go, next pack. We have so many to get through. There's still so much to go through. Yeah, I definitely have to do these every single time. 
Every single time there's a new series, a uh, new series thing released, uh, we're building a booster box. We're building a booster box. We will practice. We will practice self control, and keep them sealed. There's like five swirls, brother. My brother. There is like, there's so so many swirls on this water energy, bro. Yo, gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow, it's so gorgeous. Yo, another Palkia B star. What with the water energy? It's like a themed pack. W, huge W. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my God. Two, two, two Palkias. Wow. This is way more fun than just opening. I mean, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. It is still a lot of fun opening up these packs in stores at tournaments. Like typically everyone likes to open these all up together in, this, in the tournaments that I go to. Um, so, you know, it was, it was really hard to not open them and seeing other people open them, but you get to celebrate with them. Ooh, double turbo energy. Very nice. And another Ultra Ball. Let's go. Another W. You get jealous of seeing other people pull some really cool heat from these packs at stores, but uh, it's also great because you can see right then and there when they pull it and you can offer to trade it, uh, trade, trade with them right then. Just take it off their hands right away. Um, so if you guys want to trade packs to me or trade hollow stamped play stuff, let me know. Cause that's the stuff I love to collect. I really love to collect these play stamp things. They're my favorite. All right, we got professor's research, another stamped energy, the dark one this time. It almost looks like water, but very cool. Dark hollow stamped energy with all the swirls and another Bebero. I'm actually so hyped we're getting all these Beberos. I love this Bebero artwork. Also, if you do redeem these codes, uh, they basically just give you like five random cards. So I'm like across all the sets. It's kind of annoying for me um, because, or annoying to me, because they don't have play stamp things in the online game. There's none, which is weird. Ooh, Mirage Gate, very, very nice. And my battery just died on my uh, my my main card camera. And I lost vacuum for that pull. Let's get to the next prize pack, series three. Mm, oh, this one's a little trickier to open. I don't want to damage these cards. All right, all right, there we go. Another Mirage Gate. All the Mirage Gates. Very nice. Roseanne's backup. Hisuian Arcanine. And a Binet Hollow. Okay, and a Manaphy Hollow. Not too shabby. Manaphy, one of the best cards for, uh, well, not one of the best cards, but one of the most played cards. One of the most playable cards in. Uh, the prize packs that you can pull in a water energy right there. All right, here we go. Next pack up here we go. Also, my family's starting to go to sleep, so I have to be careful with freaking out too loud. All right, we got an Ultra Ball to kick things off, a Switch, a Reggie Drago, Whale Lord. All right, all right. Giratina V Star play stamped. Okay, that's. That's, that's a lot, wow. Wow, that is nuts. The best deck in format, the best V-Star in the game right now. We just pulled it casually, play stamped, beautiful, beautiful. This card right here is probably the most valuable card we have. And honestly, I might just not use it because I had a really rough tournament the other day with Giratina V-Star. And before that, I had a fantastic tournament with Giratina V-Star. But yeah, uh, this one I might wanna just keep uh, in the, whatchamacallit, keep it sleeved up and in the binder, maybe sell it. This could be a high value card. Uh, but I'll gotta be, I gotta be careful with this one. But yeah, I would have freaked out louder there. My, my family is starting to uh, go to bed right now. All right, here we go. Next pack up, we got Cancel and Cologne, Thornton, Slowbro, Arvin Hollow, not too shabby. And a Don Dozo hollow. Yay, yay, we love, we love Don Dozo. <laughs> Don Dozo, more like Donzo, Do, Don Doz, no, no. No, that was a bad joke too. That was a really bad Bruh. joke. All right, we got Penny. Arizu, Boss's Orders, Rare Candy. Very nice, very nice. And a Cancel and Cologne. Okay, that was a pretty decent pack, not gonna lie. That was, our, those are two really solid cards right there. Sharon's Care. A switch, we need to get one hollow switch. We're just not getting any. A comfy, okay. Switch cart, we keep getting the switch carts. And a psychic energy. I actually haven't pulled a single psychic energy hollow from these play packs. And I think I've opened maybe like 60 of these play packs now. So first psychic hollow, pretty pretty stoked about that one actually. Next pack up, we got ourselves a leave a camo poncho. 
Lost Vacuum, Professor's Research, Mirage Gate Hollow, okay. Oh, very cool. Mimikyu EX Play Stamped. And this is one of those cases where this is actually a promo. So this is, I believe, from the Mimikyu EX box collection. And uh, yeah, this is just beautiful. That beautiful play stamp right there for all my gamers out there. Next pack, can we beat the Giratina V-Star? I don't think so. I mean, we beat the Palkia, but can we beat the Giratina? That's asking a lot. That's asking a lot. I'm pretty sure there's no Charizard. Actually, I think there is a Radiant Charizard in the set and a Radiant Greninja. So if you pull either of those, I think those are the two most expensive cards. Last I checked, I think the Radiant Greninja was like 100 and then the Radiant Charizard was like 150. So those are probably just off the top of my memory, off the top of the, the head, the dome. I think those are the most expensive ones. All right, here we go. We got a Rosanne's Backup, Beach Court, Dragonite, Jacques, and a Cramorant Hollow Rare. Okay, okay, okay. We are now on to the last four packs of this booster box. And uh, if you wanna, if you wanna go back and, and see all the pulls, honestly, I think we'll do a, a pull recap as like a YouTube short. Yeah, we'll do a pull pull recap as like a YouTube short. Uh, so if you guys aren't watching my YouTube shorts and stuff like that, check out the shorts tab. I like to put out some some decent short form uh, short form quality content. All right, we got Clefairy here, Defiance Band, Archaeops, Arvin, and a Sableye Hollow as our uh, second Hollow there. The last remaining packs of the video. And of course, if you guys want to enter the giveaway for that prize pack, Series 3 in the back right there, all you gotta do is, uh, I'll have it come up on screen. Like, comment, and subscribe. All right, Ultra Ball, Team Stargrunt, Boss's Orders, Tatsuguri, and a Grass Energy as our hollow right there. Two more Series 3 prize packs, and that will be the booster box. And then we'll do two of the Series 2, the last two I have, actually. The only two that I have in my my sealed collection, and I don't really have a sealed collection, so yeah. V-Guard Energy, King Gambit, Pursuing Basculin, and a Nest Ball Hollow as well. Very happy about that Nest Ball. And now on to the last pack. Last pack magic, last pack, last pack magic for the Series 3 booster box right here. And then, then on to Series 2 right after. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We got a Canceling Cologne, Trekking Shoes, Forest Seal Stone, fantastic one. One of the best ones you can pull. And a Curlia, okay, not bad, not bad. And an Ultra Ball, heck yeah. All right, on to now. If you guys made it to the end, you get in for a treat. We got Series 2. Series 2 is not something you see very often these days. So let's have some fun with these next two packs. And of course, if you guys ever want to hang out some more, you know, during the live streams or, uh, during the uh, tournament vlogs, just subscribe. That's all you gotta do. It's free, 100% free. All right, here we go. Prize pack series two. We've got a Fusion Strike Energy, Elisa Sparkle, Boss's Orders. These feel funny. Like these cards, they the 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 the. the it's like slightly faded. It's weird. I can tell because like this is the one we pulled earlier, and it has like a different. It's like more purple. This one's more blue. Interesting. Interesting. Anyways. Back to the pack. Boss's Orders. Oh, very cool Ultra Ball. This is the older Ultra Ball. Very nice, very nice. And a Fire Energy. So this texture on these Hollow Energies are different than uh, than the current series pack right now. Very cool. And now let's get to the very last pack of the video. Prize Pack Series 2, the second one. Here we go. And of course, if you guys want to buy Pokemon cards at all, check out the description. Code Sneaker Talk TCG at Manta Trading. Code Sneaker Talk at uh, at Comfy Hobbies. And let's go. Last pack magic. We got Rescue Carrier, Raihan, Zoroark, Level Ball. Very good one. That's a very very good one to pull. And. Ooh, a single strike energy. I'll give this card one last hurrah with the Gengar VMAX 
uh, deck before that Gengar rotates down. Again, all the cards I don't plan to keep in my collection and in my decks, I'll have for sale on my eBay store linked down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm so hyped we managed to pull this Giratina and two Palkias. That is insane.